Hello friends, this is Joseph Martin. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the joy of worship. We've assembled some wonderful new and proven anthems for you to consider as you plan your music for the fall. Joining me today on this musical quest will be composer, editor, Stacy Nordmeyer, and a bevy of wonderful composers who will introduce their own music along the way. So sit back and explore some great new resources for your church choir, right here on The Joy of Worship. Now my next anthem has a bit of a backstory. It was written as a commission for a very special church that according to my mother, I attended as an infant when my dad was in seminary. Isn't that interesting? Well, the anthem celebrates the awakening of the soul to worship and celebrates the hope we have in our faith. The text takes on an extra special meaning when we consider the challenges of this past year, the times we were unable to gather and sing as a community of song. Well, here is A Song is Surely Rising. Friends, I'm Phil Hayden, and I'm here to tell you about my new choral introit for all seasons, Let Our Praises Rise. And after more than a year of COVID time, I know that's what we all really want to do. 
Let our praises rise as an easy to learn but joyful introit for all seasons. It's scored for SATB choir and keyboard with optional handbells and optional snare drum. It can be performed with either of the optional instruments, with them both together and also with neither. Let Our Praises Rise is also very effective as a short anthem and has both a general text and an Advent Christmas text embedded with the choral scores, and a fitting Palm Sunday text and a joyful Easter text are both included in the front of the choral score. So, you can use it all year long. I hope you enjoy Let Our Praises Rise. Now, one of my all-time favorite hymns is All Things Bright and Beautiful. The text is incredible, and many great composers have said it wonderfully. Now, in my version, I've included an opportunity for intergenerational singing, adults and children to be singing in the same anthem. I hope it'll be a beautiful moment for your service. Here is Bright and Beautiful. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Rebecca Fair, and this is my new grandson, Gabriel. I wrote this anthem, I Have Seen Jesus in You, for babies like Gabriel and all children because it recognizes how important parents and grandchildren are and teachers and pastors. Children watch and listen and learn from us how we live our lives, how we pray, and how we worship. This anthem is a thank you and could be sung on Mother's Day, Father's Day, and Teacher Recognition Sunday. It is an SATB anthem written mostly in two part and SAB. Here is I Have Seen Jesus in You. Hello, my name is David Bales. I want to introduce the new anthem, Come Taste the Joy of the Lord. Words written by me and Douglas Nolan, music by me and arranged by Douglas. I set out to write a rather upbeat communion song that Douglas and I collaborated resulting in this arrangement. It is definitely a communion anthem, but I believe it could also serve as a call to worship, inviting worshipers to come and taste the joy of the Lord. The style is traditional, but with a somewhat of a Celtic vibe. So I hope you'll enjoy. Come taste the joy of the Lord. Oh 
And one of the things that I like so much about this piece is that it was inspired by my dining room painting. I've got this beautiful Mo Sanford painting. A lot of my choral music is born out of my singer-songwriter style or some of my contemporary styled um, pieces. But this one is a little bit more artsy, a little bit more classical. I use some crushing harmonies in there. I utilize straight tone. Um, I think it gives your choir a little bit something to sink their teeth into. The text from this piece really was also inspired by the painting. The name of the painting is What Kind of Man Is This? Based on that passage in Matthew where Jesus calmed the winds and the waves and the storms. And what kind of man is this that can even do that? It's driven by all of these tone colors. The piece has places written in where it actually breathes and it, it kind of organically stops. And so the listener and the singer can absorb the peace that is built into this song.
I'm pleased to be able to provide the next anthem in our release. This accessible worship resource provides choir leaders with not only an anthem for the choir, but also there is an optional congregational response. Consider this for baptisms or renewal services. Here is the Waters of Grace. So the piece Ebenezer was written during the pandemic. It's one of my pandemic songs, and it was actually a commission piece. As I was praying over this song, I felt I had a pretty strong direction that I was supposed to take. And as a composer, you know, sometimes when I pray for God to guide and direct, sometimes he sends me down a general path, and then he's like, okay, just play around with it. 
come up with whatever you're going to do and I'll check in with you later. Um, but on this song, sometimes God steps in and it's almost like he grabs the pen and insists on certain words and certain phrases. And that was definitely the case on this song. The name Ebenezer is basically um, a spiritual landmark a place of remembrance, a place that we go back to in our lives. So this piece, it really is, it takes the listener and the singer on a journey. When we look back, we're looking at where we've come from. We recognize that this is an important place to visit every now and then, but we never want to stay there because that is a symbol of our failure, but it's always good for us to remember. And then the song takes us on the journey of moving forward into victorious living. And it, it tends to be more traditional in nature, in the choral writing. Um, I love a majestic sweep to a song, and I think that I think that this song, this this choral anthem has those big majestic sweeps that I love to put in.
Composer Ralph Manuel visits a beloved hymn text and gives the words a new setting. It lifts a praiseworthy message with new, beautiful melodic contours that, that rise and fall like a graceful prayer. Here is We Sing to You, Creator God by Ralph Manuel. Victor Johnson, and I would like to share with you my anthem, African Spirit Song. Um, this anthem is based on a, a Congolese folk song with text by Henry Tweedy um, with a couple of original phrases that I included myself. Um, this starts off with percussion, if you'd like to use um, shaker, tenor drum, and djembe. Then we move to the melody being sung either by soloists or by the entire choir in unison. Then we move to the um, melody, which will be sung by the soprano and altos, with a really cool ostinato um, sung by the tenors and basses. Um, further in the piece, towards the middle of the piece, uh, my favorite part, what I consider the hook, is when we have um, these layered um, phrases sung by the by each section. So the basses have one phrase, then the tenors have another, followed by altos and sopranos, and they all layer on top of one another to create this really cool um, effect. 
Then we move to a modulation, and we have the original, the melody, and the ostinato, but then we add a descant um, in the higher voices to it. Um, I hope you find this a really worthy choice for your Pentecost Sunday or any time of the year when you want to add a rhythmically exciting multicultural offering uh, for your choir. Thank you and please enjoy African Spirit Song. Hello, I'm John Purefoy, and I'm here to talk about Pam Stewart's text, which I set to music, entitled, As You Think in Your Heart. And it's from two Proverbs, 4 and 27. And Pam crafted the lyric based on these Proverbs. And it's unlike anything I've ever written, because it has dwelt with me, it has grown on me, and it came at a time during the pandemic when we still need to realize that God gives us that gift of encouragement as we think in our heart, which is from the Psalms, it's from Proverbs, Paul's letters, I'll say it, keep your heart and mind in Christ. So I hope this, this anthem will touch you and mean a comeback for your choir. Thank you. Oh 
Hi everyone, I'm Stacy Nordmeyer. Here's a chance to feature a soloist with your choir. There's No Rock Gonna Shout For Me by Michael Barrett is a cool, upbeat, and jazzy anthem that you can present with piano only, or you can add rhythm players and percussion. Either way, your singers are sure to have a blast with this one. Enjoy. There's No Rock Gonna Shout For Me. Rocker gonna shout for me. There's no rocker gonna lift my praise. There's no rocker gonna sing my song. I'm gonna sing for my Jesus all the day long. I'm gonna shout. There's no rocker gonna shout for me. I'm gonna sing. There's no I 
sing of my Redeemer. I will sing His love for me. I will sing God's praise forever, for all eternity. create this island feel calypso like simple song of praise it's written for adult choir and children's choir combined and there's a little quote of old 100th near the end to make it feel familiar here is a simple song of praise
treble voices. This next anthem, composed during the pandemic, was an example of me pouring my prayer into my pen. The pandemic has struck a mighty blow on churches and music programs everywhere, and with a heavy heart, I wrote this next piece, A Prayer for Healing. And yet, even as I wrote, I was reminded that God is faithful and that even when the road is long and winding, we never walk alone. A Prayer for Healing.
Hi everyone, I'm Jacob Dishman, and uh, today I was going to tell you a little bit about my piece, The Chorister's Prayer. Um, it is written for piano and SATB choir, and um, the piece came about uh, when I was the accompanist for First Baptist Church in Kernersville, North Carolina, and um, the director there of the choir had asked me to write something for their choir because they had um, spoken the text of the piece, The Chorister's Prayer, at the end of each Wednesday night rehearsal. Um, so I went ahead and took that text and then wrote this piece um, to it so they could have it to sing. So my goal with this piece was to write something that would be accessible to basically any choir. Um, I think the notes and rhythms are, are no problem. Um, but I wanted it to have a wide range of musical possibilities. Um, so there's a lot you can do with the phrasing and, and text painting as well. So I hope you all enjoy the chorister's prayer. Friends, thank you for listening to these new church music releases from Shawnee Press and Hal Leonard Sacred. We appreciate your time and consideration of our efforts. We consider it an honor to partner with your music ministry, and we hope for you a truly blessed choir season. From all of us here at Hal Leonard, this is Joseph Martin saying, keep a song in your heart and let music live.